Hey YouTube, this is Lydia with my trying to conceive vlog video 7, 15th day in my menstrual cycle. I have a few things that I want to go over with you guys today. Um, it's just pretty much um, going through the, like, I want to say three facts today. It might be two, just two facts um, in my fertility facts book. And I just have some news that was brought upon me today. Um, so I wanted to share that with you guys as well. Uh, first of all, I do want to say sorry. Um, I know I did say that I, you weren't going to hear the music today, but um, still got nosy neighbors. And I really don't want to do a video in my room because the lighting is horrible. And I figured since the music's on, as soon as I'm done doing this while I'm uploading, I'm going to do some dancing. Okay. So let's get started with this. Uh, the first thing I wanted to go over with you guys today was um, the first key point stating conception moon over Miami you know what a honeymoon is but what about a conception moon that's right some couples who are trying to conceive now take a romantic vacation to get help oh, sorry to help get them in the right mood the idea of course is that time away from the hostile and the hustle and bustle of everyday life will lead you to relaxation, sex, and of course pregnancy. One survey over one survey over 1,000 members of a website who said they have had fertility issues related over uh, revealed over 75% had taken a conception mood while trying to conceive. But most impressive stat shows how many succeeded. 48% of couples who said they'd vacation to procreate some, oh, to, to procreate came back pregnant. The most popular destinations, Las Vegas, Hawaii, and Florida. Um, I kind of heard of that before. Um, my doctor did tell me one time, this is uh, back when I, had after I had my two miscarriages about a year later, um, I want to say 2006, I did tell them that I was, you know, I don't know if it was just because of stress or anything like that that I wasn't able to get pregnant. Um, so they did tell me, you know what, just to try to take a little mini vacation if you can. Um, of course, I wasn't working at the time, so my husband was the only one working. We didn't have the extra income to go and take another, you know, random vacation. So, um, unfortunately, we didn't do that. But um, I have heard, like, of some people where one person, like, say, for instance, um, the woman goes and she goes on vacation, gets some time away from, you know, trying to conceive, come, comes back, and then she does get pregnant. I have had many of those cases because I've had cousins, you know, aunts and uncles that have done that and they have had a successful pregnancy. So I'm hoping that since last month I did go, not last month, in February actually because we're already in April, um, I did go to Mexico. I mean it wasn't really a vacation, it was more a family emergency but at least I was away from, you know, thinking of, oh I'm not getting pregnant this month, I'm not getting pregnant this month. Hopefully that will help me out a little bit. And I have another thing to share with you guys in a little bit about that. Um, let's see. This other one. Doctor's advice. Don't douche. Staying away from the so-called feminine, hy feminine hygiene products is the standard medical advice, especially for women hoping to conceive. Douches and vaginal sprays change normal pH balance in the vagina and can cause inflammation and other allergic reactions that create a hostile environment for sperm. And that's not all. all so that's not all. These products don't just change the environment, the environment of the vagina, but they can also wash away cervical mucus and smooths away smooths the way for sperms for sperm trying to make the per, 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 the hostile journey <laughs> let's just put it that way to unite with an egg now I know in the past I used to douche and um, I used to use the feminine sprays just to feel like uh, more refreshed um, you know after intercourse or after you know something like that um, 
after my menstruation. But um, after reading this, I know that I'm not going to be doing that anymore. At least, you know, not while I'm trying to conceive. Um, especially, I haven't done 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 so like maybe in going on four years, three or four years, um, because of the fact of my miscarriages. I'm just afraid that by doing anything like that, um, it will cause me to, you know, become infertile or anything like that. So I, I don't want to go through and um, like just take the chances away from me of being able to become a parent. Um, so I have had a stop to that. I haven't used it in, you know, so many years and hopefully, you know, now it's out of my system, it's been out of my system, I'll be able to get pregnant. Okay, now on to the news. Today I called my mother in law in Mexico just to check in and see how they're doing and everything like that. And um, I was talking to my sister in law because it's been I wanna say two weeks, two or three weeks since I spoke I've last spoken to her. And um, I don't know if I've told you guys that um, the massage that I got done, my sister-in-law got the same massage done because she, um, her son, I want to say he's like six years old. I want to say he's six or seven. Um, and ever since um, she got pregnant with him, you know, had him and everything, I mean, he he was born right, you know, not preterm, nothing like that. Um, she hasn't been able to get pregnant. They've been trying for, I want to say, a year or so. Um, actually, I want to say three years. No, two years. Two years, because it's been two years since her husband has been back. Um, and she wasn't able to get pregnant. So when I got down there after the freedom and everything, we got this massage done. Um, and we had a bet with each other. We are like, okay. Pretty much the bet goes like this. If I get pregnant before her, the next time I go to Mexico, she has she's gonna have a surprise for me. Or if she gets pregnant before me, I have to give her twenty dollars. So I have to send her twenty dollars, which you know it's like a little bit over two hundred pesos. So I mean it's good she can use that for the baby. So today I was talking to her and I asked her I was like so you know how the baby dancing going? You know how's everything going? And she's like good and then I was like oh that's great and she goes but you know I'm late like a, a week and she's never been late in her life not even before pregnancy after pregnancy anything like that so I'm like oh congratulations I was like well we'll see what happens so uh, we're just I'm probably gonna send her some money so she can go out and buy a pregnancy test and then we'll see if she's pregnant and if she is I have a lot of planning to do because I want to do the biggest surprise baby shower ever um, but you know, hopefully I do get pregnant. And if I get pregnant this cycle, our babies will be actually due a month apart from each other. So it would, just, it would be great because my mother-in-law has been wanting more grandchildren. So, and I'm hoping that uh, we'll both be able to get pregnant at the same time. So, uh, let's see if I have anything else to go over today. I think it was just those two things. It was short, short sweet, simple. Didn't want to do too much talking today. Um, let me see. I could have sworn I had something else. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and cut it. If I remember anything, I'll write it down. And then um, tomorrow, I'll be making another video. I, I believe my husband will be at work um, during the night. So I'll be making another video. And um, if I miss anything, I'll just write it down and go over it tomorrow. So um, thank you everybody for watching. Um, oh, again, I don't know if I said this in the beginning, but this is my 15th day in my menstrual cycle. So I'll be ovulating maybe in the next five to seven days. So I'm keeping on the lookout for that. So thank you for watching. Baby does sticky vibes to everybody. And congratulations if you have found out that you're pregnant. Everybody's in my prayers. And um, hope you guys have a, a wonderful evening. Bye.